after the great and tremendous battle at Gamora, behold the Nephites who had escaped into the country southward were hunted by the Lamanites until they were all destroyed. And my father also was killed by them. And I even remain alone to write the sad tale of the destruction of my people. And whether they will slay me, I know not. But the eternal purposes of the Lord shall roll on until all his promises shall be fulfilled. For out of the earth shall these covenants and prophecies come by the hand of the Lord. And it shall come even as if one should speak from the dead. The Lord hath shown unto me great and marvelous things concerning that which must shortly come, at that day when these things shall come forth among you. I speak unto you as if you were present, and yet ye are not. But behold, Jesus Christ hath shown you unto me, and I know your doing. Condemn me not because of mine imperfection, but rather give thanks unto God that he hath made manifest unto you our imperfections, that ye may learn to be more wise than we have been. I have not as yet perished, and I make not myself known to the Lamanites, because they put to death every Nephite that will not deny the Christ. And I will not deny the Christ. Wherefore, I wander whithersoever I can for the safety of mine own life. Now I write unto my brethren, the Lamanites, and I would that they should know that more than 420 years have passed away since the sign was given of the coming of Christ. And I seal up these records after I have spoken a few words by way of exhortation unto you. Behold, I would exhort you that when ye shall read these things, if it be wisdom in God that ye should read them, ye will remember how merciful the Lord hath been unto the children of men from the creation of Adam, even down until the time that ye shall receive these things, and ponder it in your hearts. And when ye receive these things, I would exhort you that ye would ask God, the Eternal Father, in the name of Christ, if these things are not true. And if ye shall ask with a sincere heart, with real intent, having faith in Christ, he will manifest the truth of it unto you by the power of the Holy Ghost. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, you will know the truth of all things.